Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be doing a very favorite, like of all time, of all, all, all time, favorite single shadows at the drugstore. I have a lot of them and I was going through and kind of just like swatching because I am planning on doing another dupes video and a dupe tutorial. But while I was swatching, I realized that I have so many great, affordable, good single eyeshadows to recommend to you guys. So this is kind of like my ultimate hit list. Sometimes it is simply just more convenient to have have a single eyeshadow and pop it in your clutch or your purse or whatever makeup bag on the go than having like the big full palette, you know? So let's start with what is on my eyes right now. And this is from JCAT. This is something I believe you do need to order online. It was at Ulta in their drugstore section once upon a time. Um, but this is Baked Alaska. Is this not so stunning? Look at how gorgeous this is. It's very, very smooth. You can use it wet or dry. It still provides a nice richness and smoothness, and I love these. I actually love a lot of the shades, but this one is just a really beautiful taupe that has that kind of chocolate undertone, so it's not too silvery, it's not too gray, and I just think it is like, Ooh, it's just really, really pretty. I have another one in here, and this is Dolce de Leche. I have used this as highlight. I actually used to only use this one as highlight. It has the prettiest pinky shade right here that is just like, bam, and it actually works really, really beautifully as a highlighter, but also as an inner corner brightener, as, you know, all over the lid, basically anywhere you want a brightened champagne type of a feel. This has a really nice thing going because it's baked, but you have three different shades here. You have that nice kind of pink undertone, a more golden undertone, and then a true champagne, lighter champagne. Uh, this is just a fantastic baked trio. These are $5.99. I don't even think they sell this anymore, but I just had to share this with you guys. Oh my God, is it broken? No, wait. Oh, I forgot. Is there a thing in here? What's in there? Secret compartment. Um, <laughs> sponge tip applicator. I'll save this for Christine. This, I don't think I can ever get rid of you guys. This was one of my like holy grails. I did a tutorial with just these two colors way, way back when. And this shade is seriously flattering. If you can find this, I don't know if, if you can or not, but this was the Hip Duos. This is the Studio Secrets Metallic Shadow, and this is in Electrified, and I just thought it was funny that I still have it. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, from the Hip Duos. I use this shade. That one hadn't been used. It was just one that I bought as a backup and kept for all these years. It was kind of hidden, and then I was just like, I found you, and swatched it and had a good, um, like makeup reminiscent moment. So I had to share that with you guys. Wet n Wild, they actually recently brought out a few palettes that have this color in the palette. This is Brulee. It is one of my favorites. It is very creamy. It just goes on the lid really beautifully. And the price is so good. This is something that if you need a matte creamy eyeshadow to highlight the brow bone, to just be a nice base for your lid, this is a really, really good one. I highly recommend it. And then Nutty, Nutty Noisette. I used this in a $20 makeup challenge where my friend Becky actually bought the makeup and then I bought her makeup and we swapped and did our makeup. And this is the shadow that I used in that video and it's a really pretty taupe. Can we like, I need to get off the whole taupe thing. So I have a couple of fun colors right here from NYX. This is one of the most surprisingly smooth, beautiful, just consistently pigmented blues that you can pick up at a drugstore price. Look at this. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Oh, that with taupe actually would look really, that would look so good. It might be a bit much, but really who cares? Um, it's just such a pretty, pretty color. And then I did want to share with you guys, I ordered more of the JCAT Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousses. I did a dedicated Hot or Not on a bunch of those and I told you that I saw more online. I was like, I'm gonna get every color. So I have the shade Prismetal in Electra and these are not like the Natasha Denona Eye Toppers. Like they really aren't, but this color right here for some reason kind of reminds me a little bit of them. Like it's obviously a little more pigmented, but it has a little bit of micro glitter in there to give it that texture 
and it just adds this really, really pretty sheen over the lid that is gorgeous. You can build it up a little bit. I wouldn't recommend building it up a ton because then it'll get kind of crumbly and it won't look so cute, but these are so nice. These guys right here, $5.99 also. I think that's such a good price. This is such a throwback, but Amber Rush from L'Oreal. This is one of their infallible shadows. I used to wear this all the time. Actually, why did I stop? It's so pretty. Do you see that? Are you joking me? Oh my God. This is like such a fun video for me to film because swatching like shiny things just calms me right down. I just like, uh, I just love it. Um, so this one is beautiful. It is a pressed pigment. It is very shiny and it wears a surprisingly long time. It's one of those shadows that you look in the mirror hours and hours and hours later and you're like, okay. We are still in business, this is great. So then we also have the shade Bronzed Taupe if you want something just a little more cool toned. Um, this one is also beautiful. Probably wait for a buy one, get one half off sale. If you see a couple colors you like, I always recommend that. I had to include my under $3 gem right here. Now they have more colors, but this one is just really wearable and beautiful and <sighs> can you even believe the price though? It is so pigmented. I love this. You can find this on Amazon or on um, the City Color website itself. Sometimes you can find it in like Walgreens. I have seen the brand there before, um, but super affordable and like nice. They have really good lipsticks too. Okay, so as far as a little bit of a dupe, I wanna share with you guys one of my favorite Maybelline singles that you can use as a highlighter and it's just really, really pretty. And again, I think it's under $5. This is just a golden, beautiful kind of champagne situation that blends out on the eye or on the skin really nicely. I'm gonna show you just, do you see that? I mean, I could just sit here for a while and do that. It's really, really pretty. Um, I have to bring up the Infallible Paints Metallics. These are still at the drugstore. I truly feel they're not talked about enough. They're so pretty and long wearing and smooth. It's really similar to the Infallible Pressed Pigments, but not as shiny. Um, the wear time and the way they sit on the eye and the way you can kind of pack it on without it getting chunky and having bits crumble everywhere. It's very, very similar. So I really love that. And then the other shade that I love is this guy right here. This is Brass Knuckles. So, so pretty. I'm gonna show you. This is not an exact dupe, but it is similar. This is a Chanel Illusion Ombre for like 36 bucks. This is L'Oreal. So you can definitely find something that has pigmentation and shine, blendability and longevity at the drugstore. Usually the singles, in my opinion, tend to be a little bit better in quality than some of the palettes. That's just been my experience. Now, I recently did a Hot or Not specifically on drugstore palettes. Spoiler on that one, Milani like kills it with drugstore palette quality, so, so good. But yeah, watch that video for more recommendations and maybe a few to think twice about. But the singles usually, usually they do a really good job. All right, do we remember when I looked like I was a character from Star Trek and I did this whole video? Beam me up. When I was editing that video, I was like, huh, mental note. Do this makeup again because it was like a very soft purple look, but it was nice and colorful. And I typically day to day gravitate toward more neutral tones. I usually like my neutrals. However, this was so pretty and soft. It's not holographic. So just like toss that aside. <laughs> that is just, it's not. Um, but the quality, the texture and how beautiful this color is. If you're someone like me that has a hard time stepping out of, you know, the browns, the neutrals, the warms, the taupes, and you wanna try color, but you don't wanna go like straight to the teal blue, um, then something like this can be really pretty. So this whole collection was really good for the most part. Um, I'll link that video below for you as well. So I also wanna give you one last dupe. This right here is from Tarte. I love these, I really, really do. I think they're beautiful. This is the Park Avenue Princess Chrome Paint, but if you do not wanna spend 20 bucks on something like that, you can spend three. 
and it's very, very similar. All right, so we're calling it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you want more videos of just kind of rifled through my collection, things that I've loved for years, instead of just, you know, the try on makeup and first impressions. I always wanna hear what you guys wanna see, so please leave me your feedback. I would love that. I hope you guys are having a good one. Have an excellent, amazing weekend, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.